Afternoon, I'm Dave Camber with Wilderness Outfitters. I'm with the Pathfinder School. I wanted to uh, give you guys a little tip and trick video today on uh, a thing that I think you'll you'll appreciate. Um, one of the things I want to tell you guys real quick, you know, I've, I was thinking about this today a little bit when I was looking at comments and thinking about the Discovery Channel thing and thinking back on the interview that I had with Rob Frazier. And you know, one of the greatest things that I found about YouTube is even I learn so much every day from YouTube because every time I put a video out somebody puts a comment on one of my videos that teaches me something um, not you know, it's not every single day but you know every time I put a video out at least one comment somewhere in there I learn something from or I take something away from that and it's a great learning tool for me so it's becoming exactly what I wanted to we're learning together and that's the way I wanted to do things you know and we're going to do some more video uh, footage on this blowgun situation because I learned quite a few tips and tricks from other guys that hunt with blowguns already. Um, I learned that that idea is, is obviously not a new idea. I knew that. There's no idea that's brand new. Everybody's either thought of it or done it at one time or another most of the time. But I got some tricks about how to do things a little bit different, how to make things a little bit better maybe. And I think we're going to try to do some hunting video with that. I'm really impressed with the power that that blowgun has um, for, for what it is and what it costs. So now... The next thing I want to show you is there's a trick I want to show you that you can do to your slingshot to hunt big game with your slingshot. Now, you know, a lot of people have asked me about poisons and things like that on the blowguns. Forget it, guys. There's no poison that will even kill a human being in the United States that's going to, or anywhere that's going to kill a human being in quicker than, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. If you shoot a large game animal with a, with a poison arrow or a poison dart and it's going to take it 15 or 20 minutes to die, you're probably not going to find it. It's going to run full speed ahead and not stop. And it'll be very hard for you to find it, no matter how good a tracker you are. Um, so I would forget the poison. Let's talk about ways of killing big game animals with our slingshot right now. Okay, guys, real quick, let's talk about what we got laying here. We've got a slingshot frame, which is basically just a wrist rocket frame. The kind that you put on your wrist and secure it. We have our slingshot bands. These are heavy-duty bands. The black ones are usually heavier than the tan color ones are. I have two Ranger bands just cut from an inner tube. We've talked about those on several videos. And I have a cheap 25-cent key ring type ring here. All right? And I'm going to show you how to put this thing together now to make something you can kill big game with. Okay, guys. I'm, I haven't showed you exactly what we're doing here yet because... I kind of want to save it for a surprise. I got my uh, reusable space blanket out here. I did find a source for these and did get them wholesale so I can put them on the site for you guys here in a few days. Uh, silver on one side and green on the other, just like the one we did in the interview uh, and in the videos that I did with Rob Fraser. They're going to be about 12 or 13 bucks, about 12 bucks, I think, is going to be the retail on them. So that'll be a good thing for you guys. I'm going to carry one of these all the time with me now because they're a good ground tarp as well as everything else. So anyway, we've got our wrist rocket here, okay? First thing we need to do is let's take this ring that we have, and it doesn't have to be a key ring necessarily. This is just something that's cheap. Let's take one of our Ranger bands here, and we're going to just put it, we're going to loop it so it's like a half inch around that ring, just like that. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing with the other Ranger band on the other side, and we're just going to loop it through itself as well and turn it into a half hitch just straight across from the other one so what we have more done is looks like this alright then we're going to take our slingshot and we are going to twist this down a few times and put it kind of right between our now when you twist the other side down you want to do this with your hand and you want to hold the ring still so that you're twisting this band and the reason I'm doing this is number one because the bands are a little bit too long for what I want to do with this, so twisting them down is going to make them a little tighter. And I'm going to put that over the other side, the other upright. Now, if they're not, if that thing's not even, then I'm going to untwist one side of it a little bit to get it even. And you can see I can adjust it now and get it so it's in the middle. And that's important. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this thing out of my way and all the way down just like this on both sides and just drop it into the front like that and I'm going to put my slingshot bands back on here an easy way to do that is just to kind of lick these get some saliva on them and then you can slide this tube 
right up over the top of it. Just like this. Very quick, very easily. Now we'll have to kind of let that evaporate a little bit because if we're not careful when we pull this, we'll pull that band right back off there. So we want to stretch out a couple times to make sure it's not coming off. You can see that one slid up a little bit. And I don't want that when I'm pulling on this thing or it's going to hit me in the face. So we want to make sure that that saliva evaporates. I got a little overexcited there, slobbering and drooling all over that thing. Now, so if we want to use this like a regular slingshot, we can do that at this point. We've got everything out of our way. We can shoot regular rocks or whatever through this thing, ball bearings, whatever, we're shooting marbles. Doesn't matter, we can use this for small game. But I want to use this for big game. How do I do that? Here's the trick, guys. What you just put on this that's now movable back up into position, okay? And all you have to do is put it right back up on the front just like that so it's centered, just like that, all right? And now what I can do is I can take any old arrow. It doesn't matter what arrow it is. It could be one I made. It could be one I found. It could be one I've damaged from my bow. It doesn't really matter if the knock's good or not. It could be broke off. The feathers don't have to be perfect. And I slide that arrow right through that ring put my rubber band put my slingshot right around my knock area just like that and get it get it get an even pull I usually put it on the ground when I'm doing that just to get it evened up like that and now I can shoot an arrow with my slingshot and I'm going to show you how good that works out right now okay guys we're back at our little practice hay bale here give her a few shots see if we can get it on film I'm about to run out of battery power on this dude so we'll see if we can get this on film for you and uh, try to show you how good this works out so I'm just gonna walk up here right in front of the camera for you and this camera's probably sitting I'm guessing uh, oh a good 10 12 yards from this target so I'm probably 10 yards sitting in front of the camera There you go, guys. Boom. Dead deer. Ten yards to the camera, exactly, guys. You can't get ten yards from a deer. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. You're not doing something right in the woods. The good thing about a slingshot is, versus a bow, it doesn't take near as much room to work with it because you don't have to lift it up and down in the trees like you do with a bow. With a slingshot, you can just draw it straight back and the only room you need is this right here. You don't have any room up here where the bow would be or a crossbow for that matter. And you can shoot any arrow through this thing. You can shoot aluminum, you can shoot carbon, you can shoot homemade arrows out in the woods, cane. You can shoot a regular wood arrow out of it. Any of them will work just fine. You could use duct tape, duct tape or feathers, just like we did when we made the bundle bow. You don't have to have specific perfect arrows for this. This just happens to work out pretty good. You can see, 10 yards, that thing's deadly, guys. We're getting uh, probably 10 to 12 inches of penetration in that target every single time from this distance with a practice head on a cedar arrow. That was a little low there. That was a bad shot. The good thing about this is, what I like about it is, you can almost walk around at the ready with this thing because this ring rotates. So you can stuff this up into your knock just like this, tuck this arrow down to the side just like this, and you can walk just like this while you're stalking and then when you get up there all you have to do is flip it around and you're ready to go if you don't want to take the shot put it right back in the rest position and start walking again when you get done with your stalk and you're ready to rock and roll pull it up let it go bam you're good to go you can kill a big game with this this guy this will kill a deer in a heartbeat guys it will kill a deer in a heartbeat I guarantee it in a heartbeat that'll kill a deer Now this arrow actually is a little bit shorter than what I would want to use for a slingshot arrow because 
I'd like to get something I can really put a lot of draw on with a slingshot so I get the full capability of it. The problem with this one is this is made for my bow so when I draw it to my cheek or to my mouth you're looking at that arrow almost getting up into that ring and you don't want that. I'd like to have five or six inches hanging outside of that ring so I would rather have a little bit longer arrow. But you're still getting plenty of penetration off that thing to kill what you're shooting at. That's a dead center shot over a foot of penetration right there with that shot. Over a foot, guys. Look at that. No doubt that'll kill a deer.